Are you ready for this? Wait, wait, wait. Let me get my... You know what? Hold on. Let me flex on the gram too, bro. All right, dude. Here's the time. You ready? Three, two, one. Wow. Bro, I'm gonna cut you. It's happening. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna do this to you. The car will be running by the time this video is out. I'm sorry, but it'll be the next one. Bye. You will be surprised with how much it costs. You're under arrest. Smell my butt. Finally, no game. So I'm gonna. Whoa, wait. Before I forget, dude, look who's here. Look who actually showed face and is actually being a good friend. Hi, Bree. Hi. How many videos do you, of mine do you watch a year? One. Right, dude, she's such a bad friend. This is the video that you guys have actually been asking for a couple of months, and everybody, before I came and finished my swap, was the first thing they were at. There's two things that you guys are always saying. Hey, Cheyenne, why don't you just boost to 3.7, dude? Why don't you just boost to 3.7, dude? I ask you all the time. Why don't you just boost to 3.7, dude? The second thing was, there's no way this costs, like, this is way more expensive than boosting to 3.7. It's way more money. It's way more expensive. Everything we're doing, we're lying to you about price. Facts. Honestly, I'm just lying to you guys about these numbers and figures because I just want you guys to be in a money pit like me. Ignore the Mustangs, my bad. Today we are actually gonna talk about how much this costs, this right here specifically, how much that is, and also maybe a little bit of that. Everybody's been telling me that I'm gonna spend like $15,000, $13,000, so I guess like, you know what, today is gonna clear up everything. So I'm gonna do a pr uh, price breakdown. I'm also gonna talk about where you can't get the mods that I bought and just make it as easy as possible. We'll get started right now. So I want to get a quick disclaimer before anyone says anything this is actually filmed right before we actually buttoned up everything it is cranking but yet yeah, fuel lines not actually connected so I can't keep this car running right now on camera but I'm gonna leave it for another time anyway so that way uh, I want to make that video like very special so the motor isn't complete right now as I'm recording it so you obviously of course are gonna see like missing hoses there's no coolant reservoirs I'm not gonna try and flex and pretend like everything is all like just peaches and cream yet but I wanted to release this because there's absolutely nothing that i have to buy for this motor because it's already purchased so this is going to be a this is a complete parts list so let's start with the motor hey get to work peasant my oh god i'm about to release a sneeze ah uh, ah uh, breathe Help me. Oh, take it. I need take it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that worked. Actually, that worked. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, you gonna let her slap me in the face like that? She just smacked me in the face and I didn't sneeze. I didn't even know that was a thing. It worked. It worked though. Thank you. We are gonna talk about how much all this costs and we're gonna start with the motors. I actually got this motor for $1,400, but it came with the Q60 uh, transmission as well too. I got this motor in a really questionable and sketchy manner from a very sketchy person, but he did charge me $1,400. So for a transmission and motor and the motor is working and healthy the motor I found a couple that are selling for a thousand dollars. This is the one where I say like it's really hard and based on your area. I've had people tell me that they live in Dominican Republic and they're getting charged like twenty five hundred dollars. And I've seen the average price go around anywhere from literally a thousand to three thousand. So it really just depends where you are. But I would say the average is one k to three k. But the the cost of your thirties is coming down. Here's the thing that also made my motor cheaper. So I when I did get it, I didn't have the the tent the pulleys or I didn't have the belt so that i actually went ahead and ordered from z1 but that came out to what was it so the missing pulleys came out to 467 dollars and 62 cents so even though i saved on buying the motor buying the missing pieces for the motor actually kind of put me a little over the budget that i expected if you can i would just try to go ahead and find a motor that has it complete instead of piecing it together like how i did it will save you a little bit of change didn't you tell me it was like seven thousand dollars why are you killing the whole video oh, dude why are you killing the whole video dude now they're now they're not even, no, even I can't shirt. Sure. Yeah, that's why I got holes in my shirt. I'm trying to do a VR swap, dude. I don't got time for that. You just turbo at 3.7. What's wrong with you? Just I should have just boosted 3.7. Just spent eight grand on a kit. Right. Moving on now to Z downpipes not just the downpipes we're also gonna go with the exhaust also so if you guys already have an exhaust don't don't do what i did and sell your exhaust thinking that you're gonna need a full custom exhaust didn't have to sell the isr exhaust i had it would have worked but because i didn't I, honestly we stepped in the territory that we you know we, i just didn't know to be honest putting all the dirt in the off okay 
So whatever exhaust you have, to be honest, like you might not even have to buy this item because you might have one already for your 3.7 or you know whatever the case may be, and you can just go ahead and utilize that instead of having to spend extra money. So I had to go ahead and buy a brand new Gretti exhaust. I got the Gretti RS and I also got the AMS three-inch downpipes, and that in total cost me I don't remember right now. Is there Cheyenne running a bike while I checking? My downpipes and exhaust, so everything from the turbo back cost me $1,490.95. It kind of, man, it kind of feels so bad when like you're actually talking about how much you spent. You're an idiot. You got rid of something you didn't need to. I didn't know though. Yeah, I know, but for them to know, now they, I wouldn't even add that to the cost. That, yeah, to be honest, it, it might not, but you I could use a stock exhaust at that point. You could, honestly. Actually, yeah, you could. That'd be really, I feel like it would be stupid to do that, but. I mean, it would be dumb, but at the same time. Yeah, you'll, yeah in, okay, in theory, yes, you could just do that but i feel like it wouldn't be wise for gains like at all especially with turbo cars the one thing that i did go ahead and do is i upgraded the the top hat on my cars because 370z's are known to crack top hats and i've actually had mine crack for about a year the top hat itself i paid 256 dollars and 45 cents for and i did go ahead and upgrade to the walbro hellcat 525 low pressure fuel pump so the fuel pump and the top hat the fuel pump itself actually got off offer up brand new. It was a hundred dollars, which was a great deal. To be honest, some of these things I got at a great steal of a price, and I was surprised I even found them. Hey, ready to high five me, dog? What's up, bro? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you okay? I shouldn't laugh at my daughter, but that was funny. You okay? No, you good? Fist bump. You good? These blow off valves were actually a hookup, but I did have to pay again because I lost the set in the mail. So that being said, I, I got some for free the first time. Second time I actually had to pay for it because it got lost and that really, really sucks. And I hate the United States Postal Service for that, but it's okay. So the HKS blow off valves and the, I did get the, as you can see, again, not complete because this throttle body is actually bad and I have to change it. So I don't have any clamps on. I haven't even secured the blow off valves and I need to trim it. But whatever the point is, is that, I went ahead and got the CZP kit. Uh, they, I have honestly, CZP was so good to me that I know there are other kits, but I just want to support them as much as possible because they helped out with numerous products on my car. And I honestly, I can't be more thankful with their customer service and the products that they give. So I have no issue repping CZP, but I got their coupler kit along with the HKS blow up valves. They tuck really perfect in the engine bay. It's just such a good fit in this car. Honestly, this whole thing just looks like such a good OEM setup. It looks like the car could come like this, which it might, just might. 400Z, baby. Because that's what, tech, to be honest, Sean, if you really think about it, Sean, I made a 400Z. I made a 400Z. a 370Z. No, I made a 400Z. You bought the VR and put it in a 370Z. Yeah, it's a 400Z it's now. A 370Z. No, it's a 400Z. Why is it a 400Z? Because it's a 400Z. Yeah. So the HKS blow up valves you can actually get on multiple sites. You can get the Z1 kit or the CZP. Honestly, both are going to be fine, but I went with the CZP. The, the whole kit itself did cost, let's see, let's check my handy dandy notebook. Oh, I actually paid 400 bucks. Not bad. $400 for two blow up valves and a coupler kit. I'll let my favorite person in the world describe the flywheel since he messed up the install the first time with the pilot bushing. Bearing. Everything went now. smooth. Um, the Ray messed up the install as usual. So uh, what, what flywheel did you even get, bro? We got, your favorite company. this is my favorite, JWT, Jim Wolf Technology. All right. Uh, <laughs> what the? Haha, <laughs> 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 it was a fake one. Don't relax, everybody. We installed the flywheel. You use a stock pressure plate, or in this case, you just the Z1 pressure plate, is it? Yeah, Z1 pressure plate. Z1 pressure, pressure plate. plate and Z1 clutch. And Z1 clutch. Uh, which one is it? The full face or yeah, spring? Yeah, full face. Cause it doesn't the, matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't I'm gonna I'm jump in this. I'm jump. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. We actually don't have to use any other clutch system because this flywheel is made for this, you know, 370Z man. What is she doing what in your you, car? What are you doing? Hey, bro. First of all, you look like an infant sitting in here. Oh my god, you look so tiny on camera. Whoa. All right, what JWT. A... Stock uh, drive Whoa. shaft. Oh yeah, that's right. Stock, stock drive shaft. You could still use the stock transmission mount. I upgraded mine. Ray stayed cheap and then you have to stock one. The only thing you needed was a flywheel. 
Which was how much? No, it was four hundred and ninety-five dollars. All right, so let's let's say five hundred fifty for shipping sake. I don't know. No, I'm not including shipping. Just I'm gonna include five. five okay, five hundred. Uh, aftermarket motor mounts, if you needed them. The mounts you can use the OEM ones, but the motor does sit a little too high for the VR because it is a taller motor compared to the VQ. I am actually not able to run the strut bar right now, so I'm I'm in that dilemma where I'm going to either make a custom strut tower and that will work or I could just use the Z1 mounts which I think I'm going to go that route and just do that because I want to make everything as OEM as possible. The mounts actually paid $200 but I do recommend the Z1 mounts just because you have the adjustability. Right now I'm running the BDE ones so 200 bucks. The flywheel was another $495. Last but not least I have a heat exchanger. <laughs> so my heat exchanger is actually kind of mounted a little ghetto but it is on so the only thing that I am missing is the actual coolant reservoirs it's just you know more along the lines of trying to figure out spacing which it should be it shouldn't be that bad but whatever so I'm actually gonna link up with switchback racing to go ahead and see if we can do custom three inch intakes that way they tuck right under the bumper like how it used to be on my VQ but whatever so with the coolant reservoirs and the lines I actually got a great steal like I said look for part outs because for everything that I needed it was all hundred dollars that's including the the lines the pump I got a great steal the pump the cooling reservoirs, all the lines, $100, which I feel like that's definitely gonna vary. And look for those people, look for those part outs and you'll get a great steal. The, at the heat exchanger, like I said, that actually paid, how much did I pay for that again? That was the, I got, honestly, I don't even wanna say this company, this heat exchanger is such, this heat exchanger is actually so much booty that I don't, want to even like recommend it to be honest i would recommend just if if you can i'm sure other people who have been doing the vr swap recommends the ones that they have but this heat exchanger i got was 180 dollars i do wish i spent a little bit more so that way i can get a higher quality one 180 dollars got the job done and then you have that little flex of now my grill i have i have a inner cooler looking thing so i guess that looks cool but whatever like this this company just make sure you don't cheap out on these parts just like i did that's the one part that i kind of regret that i got that i wish i didn't because it came with a bunch of dents and all that and it, i feel like it's gonna fail pretty soon and i'm gonna have to replace it anyway so that kind of sucks but it is what it is the harness now the thing is i can't give you an actual price of how much the harness costs because everybody varies so much i did get quotes from anywhere from like 800 to 1500 one guy even tried to charge me 2000 since there is no one real really doing this swap often and has like a, a standalone engine harness for this swap just ready to go everybody's prices right now is just all over the place i can't include it into a price because thankfully i did get it sponsored by martin from artist anthropy and he actually did help me out with not only just the harness but the tune the tuning device thank you ecutech for sponsoring me and helping me out with the build honestly i can't be more thankful because again that saves so much money and i'm glad to be working with a company where they're always constantly developing on the VR platform. Not even just the VR platform, but the but the the 3.7 also and the 3.7 is dying out it's finally a motor where you know it's been out for so long and they're still continuously giving out support the pricing of tuning and getting the device will probably be like a thousand for the the device and maybe six to 600 to 800 or 900 depending on who it is to get your tune i always recommend always martin because martin just is just really knowledgeable cool guy his customer service is like honestly one of the best i'll link i'll put his um instagram here and also leave a link to it in the description so that being said that realistically is it now how much does this come out to in total everything together this was something that everybody said was gonna cost me ten thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars that why lower displacement for an unreliable motor you might as well you might as well just boost the 3.7 that all this other crap bro everybody was telling me that this wasn't gonna work that I had to get a custom drive shaft that I had to do I had to yeah like all this random crap that everybody was assuming I'm gonna bluntly say that this swap cost me four thousand seven hundred and ten dollars and two cents this swap cost me me personally pretty much five thousand dollars what i did to start saving money was start selling parts off the motor my real cost because i even wrote that down oh shit. Oh, well nope i deleted it what, what you have to take away from the total cost is i paid 1400 bucks for a motor and trans but i kept my manual transmission so six speed vr 30 swap Transmission got sold for $500, so $500 off of that. Then I sold my bad motor for $200 to help out somebody. That helps towards that. Then I sold little bits and pieces like the starter, alternator, things that I'm not gonna use. I forgot how much I, I, I'm, I sold those for. Oh, coil packs. Um, What else, man? Like engine harness, there's a lot of stuff that 
you're not gonna use that. You can just sell and save yourself on price. Let's just say I probably paid around $4,000. I can't remember off the top of my head to do this VR30 swap after selling some parts. Tell me what form of boost you're gonna get from a from your 370Z or G35 or even the, the 3.7 Q50. Where are you gonna find a $4,000 boost kit? I know there's one with a GTR. Someone made a GTR turbo kit for, you know, the V3.7. You still, and then mind you, yeah, you still gotta buy the GTR turbos. And they, they're not even selling it separate. So you, and at first they were saying they were gonna do it separate, but you still have to pay for the kit and they wanna install it and they wanna tune it. It's a cool swap though. It's a cool swap but it costs $9,000. Then you have other twin turbo kits that cost like around $12,000. And then you have Switchback Racing, which I think they're around like 9,000. Honestly, I like their, their single turbo kits a lot. Switchback Racing is really dope. Honestly, everybody was saying, why not just boost to 3.7? Well, it costs twice as much as what it costs for me to do this. Anybody who's interested in doing this swap, I only thing I can tell, the only thing I can tell you is please do your research. Try and secure an engine harness first. That's one of the hardest things. Get the flywheel ordered because that takes a month to be made. And it just, start lining up your ducks, talk to your tuner, what you're gonna need, what you should do, etc. DM me or DM others who have done it and we can help you out and try and make this process as smooth as possible. But for pretty much $4,000, that's how much it costs to make my own little fake 400Z. And honestly, I love it. I can't wait to get more content with this car, get some good races in. Um, I hope that he goes boost one day on his 3.7 so I can destroy him anally, maybe. I, it won't. It, honestly, the, the 3.0 right now, is, and until I upgrade the turbos, it's not going to be like that fast. So I'm going to make like around 500 and something. So show me better. Just look before anybody complains, show me better. Show me proof and they'll just be all talk. 4K, dog. Oh, you're an idiot for changing that motor. You're so dumb for changing your motor that oil leaks all over it that was about to go anyway. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You should have bought another VQ, VQ for $1,000 and then spend 10,000 to boost that. Common sense. Facts, bro, facts. So, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, it's okay. Unlike it, tell me why. Stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. You you wanna close it out, or is it? Bree wants to close it out. Bree, you got it? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.